Hi, my name is Gabriela from Tulip Art Designs and if you are a creator who likes sketching and drawing for relaxation, then that's a place for you. In today's video, I will show you a very easy way to sketch these and I use my favorite book, the flower cover guide. And uh, if you like such thing, then grab your materials and let's get started. Hi, so um, uh, this month I am drawing some flowers from my flower uh, cover guide. Because it's spring, I thought this um, narcissus w w would be quite a good choice. So uh, I have watercolor paper arches, I uh, just uh, cut it in a five size and I have the cold press paper because of the texture I like. Then I have Windsor and Newton Cotman collection. Uh, collection. <laughs> I have different sizes of my uh, Princeton brushes and I use snap collection. I have 16, 6 and 10 round brushes, some water, paper towel and some extra palette that I just pushed so I can put my uh, book here so you can see the flowers and I have for my drawing part my pens uh, from Saikura I use Pigma Micron I have 01 and 05 here I have a jelly roll pen for the last details and for my sketch I have just simple pen and the eraser Okay, I think like this. So I usually start with just making one central line so I can position my flowers more in the center. I have here four if I'm gonna do all of them. I don't know, but it's a sketch so it might turn differently in the end. I have here one of my flowers like this and I can see that it has like five petals this one so I have my center which is like continuous to this with a very funny shape here and then I have my first petal mm, something like this and one that is coming this way then one here and the other two in the back so I will probably do such a thing I will not add uh, too many details but I will add it directly with the ink then I have one more here so this part and then my stamp stamp I have one leaf like this you can skip any part of uh, of the flowers so here's something very nice and interesting and then one leaf coming this way one leaf coming this way what's the secret of drawing these nice flowers it's just to keep it how do you say that now just keep it crazy and make it look natural it you can get this result when you just make 
crazy lines so I'm not going for something very straight and nice and symmetrical every petal is completely different and then one more here and I want to put it somewhere here so I know this part the yellow part will end somewhere here like this and then it just becomes as a stem and then I have my first petal like this and I have a second one here one in the back one here one over there and I actually have this one here as well and then I want to add some leaves so there is one long over here you can see that they are a little bit rotated something like this here or maybe it's just enough like this I will grab my pen let me use zero two to see how it will go so I know that this flower here is on the front so I will just start with it and I am just going like this with these crazy shapes and then I am just adding some detail lines that are continuous to my winky shapes here and what I'm doing is to make it thicker lines sometimes to create this 3D um, view and then I have one petal so my first petal is this one and I will make the bottom part a bit thicker I will add this detail lines here and maybe also here to just give it a direction my pen is waterproofed so this is very important uh, when you want to make a drawing and then add I like um, watercolor on top of it like this and then here it's quite nice so uh, when you want to sketch um, from a photo because the truth is that everything is already 2d so uh, if if you look on a real flower then it will be harder because uh, light is changing maybe there's a wind and um, everything is just moving so this will make it a bit harder so what I usually do is take photos and then sketch 
um, of course if you want to stitch uh, from the real uh, thing you absolutely have to do that but because I just want to make it more for like um, relaxation I just make a photo I take a photo and then sketch I take the real shapes the outlines and then uh, and then I just enjoy it's not that you cannot enjoy uh, sketching from the real thing but when it, it it's about flowers I I just enjoy it more when it's from a photo maybe like this and then the stem that will end up somewhere here then I have my leaf so my leaf is doing something nice you can see how it it's just rotated all over the the leaf till the end okay that's my first one I have one more leaf here sketching can be sometimes frustrating especially if you are doing it for uh, the first time but to be honest if you are practicing then you can definitely learn drawing every single part of this um, and when you are sketching from a photo then it's it's way more easier because all the shadows are there all the shapes and the light and everything is already fixed so half of the work is already done you don't have to analyze um, what's uh, happening so I will just finish inking this and then we'll continue with the next step Okay, now that I sketched all of my lines with the pen, I want to erase the pencil because once you want to add watercolor on top of it, then it will be fixed because the watercolor works as a um, mask, so um, you will not be able to erase it. See, I have white and uh, white petals i have yellow center and then for my leaves i have green so i will start with my yellow and because i really like using wet on wet i will just add some water like this i will try not to have big pools but it 
will be wet enough and then I want something very yellowish and orange maybe enough inside as well so something quite vibrant so I'm mixing um, some light red with yellow maybe like this okay and then I will just go inside and start adding like this so you can see how the paint is bleeding immediately in the water and I will leave it like this and then I will make my green parts so I am grabbing a very light green and then I will add it to my stems and my leaves and it's very light so what it means it means that I add more water to my green um, so it's extra transparent like this and then I will grab darker green that I will just add by tapping just next to my lines like this and it will bleed in the light green like this if the paint is already dry you will see that it will not bleed so much so with this technique which is called wet on wet you have to work quite fast um, and even if you mess it up you can always always fix uh, things so don't be worried like this I make it quite dark on the bottom side of each uh, leaf and the stump as well so I go as many times as I want until I get this darkness that I like and I know that maybe my greens doesn't really don't really uh, they are not really the same as they are on the picture but I I'm fine with this because when you draw something for relaxation you can just enjoy the beauty of all the colors you have you can even change completely the lines you can absolutely absolutely do whatever you like you don't need to copy every single color or shape so i will try to add a bit more dark here so I just tap it with my brush just like this and if it's already dry then it will not bleed keep this in mind okay
like this. And then the other one. Very light green. Um, as the first layer, but yeah, we don't really work in layers, but we start with a very light and transparent layer here and then we grab green that's darker than our first layer and start drawing it in and you can see here it's not really um, bleeding and it's because my first layer is already dry so you have to work very fast I say it again and I can say it again and again so you will remember it that with wet on wet we have to work faster even I can't do it this faster and you can see now that the paint doesn't bleed so much but it still does because it's a little bit wet and then I I take paint directly from my pan without adding extra water so it's a very concentrated okay And then for the last one, again, very light green. If you have too much water, you can dry your brush and lift it up like this. Okay, and then very dark and concentrated green you have to remember as well that when watercolor dries it gets lighter than uh, it's in the beginning while it's uh, still wet so sometimes if you are not really happy with the result, you can just go one more time. It's absolutely fine. Like this. For my petals, I really want to add just a little bit of shadows. So I will use very, very watery gray. And add it somewhere but not all of the leaves so I really leave some white parts If you want to make it really pop up the flower, you can add a dark um, background which will make uh, your flower really uh, show up because of the contrast. like this so uh, I want some splatters that will be orange before that I will make sure it's dry to add a little bit of white lines okay now that it's dry I will just add a few white lines to make it more contrast and I add these next to my black 
lines and I do it in the darkest parts like this so it brings extra contrast if it doesn't work then you can uh, work it out on an extra piece of paper on the side here in the, the center of the flower I like doing it in a very sketchy way but if you want to make it more perfect because mine is also perfect but everybody has different point of view so I would love to see what uh, you've done so you can always always um, share your work with me either uh, on Instagram or just uh, send me an email you can find my uh, contact information in the description and if you want to make this thing more relaxing then check out my latest course which is uh, only for leaves and we are not drawing anything real but we are just doing simple simple leaves for relaxation so it's a good uh, start point before you uh, jump in uh, such things so if you think you want to jump on this journey uh, just uh, check uh, my course out because it just came out and I'm quite I'm quite happy with it and I'm quite happy what uh, people get uh, as a result when jo when they join so you don't need too much or I don't I just like it like this then I will try to cover my flowers and then do a few some dots and okay let's see if I can so you can try this on another paper first so you will know what to expect I will remove my book you should know that it will make a big mess for sure Oh, that was close. A bit more. So you really need to fill your brush with a lot of paint. Okay. Okay. So let's just see that was uh, quite a nice one and uh, I'm happy with the result. So uh, that was it for today. Um, I really hope that uh, you like this video and you learn something from me. If that's true then subscribe for my channel because this will really help me to grow here and keep creating stuff for you. Happy creating and see you next week. Bye!